combat troop. Okay. Shit. I should have guessed as much. I guess I'll just have to improvise. At the very least, I need a good number of loyal comrades. People we can trust. People ready to suck. Can you do that? I can vouch for Kaya and my old combat drone. Well, can you recruit them right away? I found my old combat drone. It'll help us. Ah, good news. An Alb combat drone. Can we rely on it? I'll vouch for it. Excellent. You seem to know what you're doing. If we keep control of it, a drone like that will serve us well. Okay, but it's not enough. You mentioned others? People you could trust? We need more recruits. Hey, you get around a lot. You must stumble across the odd lucrative business, right? Though so how about an Alexic donation for the community in the Bastion? It wouldn't just be for the good of the Sixth Power. You'd also get the feeling of having... Kaya will join us. Excellent. There aren't many better than her. Always been proud to stand at her side. Great. Now let's get to work. We have to keep up this momentum. I should mention that Falk the Cleric can sometimes be a little strange. Well, clerics have strict principles, I guess. Can be both good and bad. Any recommendations for recruitment? Hmm. Guess I better think it over some more. Look, the more recruits we have, the better. Sure. I'll try. I want to donate to the community. Good. The plans for defending the Bastion are set. For now, at least. Keep looking. We need all the help we can get. Run. Analyzing. Main protocol optimized. So, I'm. You, oh, I'm. We're done for I am doing what
Yeah? What is it? Commander, sir, I've got something for you. This piece of meat, it's a tribute. What you're contributing to our community, I am so grateful. Please, take it as thanks. I appreciate it, really. Thank you. A pleasure. Hey, wait a minute. What's going on? Um, what? You don't just... People don't... Come on, out with it. What did you break? No, really, I wanted to... It's nothing. Just a kind of social experiment. Ah, uh, well, whatever. As you were. Noted. I'd like to do another right away, if you don't mind. Please try to ensure it's a suitable candidate. All right, if it's what you need. It seems to me like you're an eternal acolyte. Don't you have any ambitions to climb the ranks of the cleric high- One. Uh, one zero zero one one zero. One zero one zero one zero? One zero one zero one zero. Zero one zero one one. Zero zero one zero. One? One. Okay, what? Excuse us. Sure, if you tell me what that was all about. It is binary communication. By what now? Binary communication is the exchange of algorithms which is typically used numerically and for the approximation of mathematical analysis problems. Okay, okay, okay. I can see you two are going to get along famously. One. Um, I mean, yes. It seems to me like you're an eternal acolyte. Don't you have any ambitions to climb the ranks of the cleric hierarchy? That would be an interesting challenge. However, the clerics are reluctant to let machines enter the higher echelons of their chain of command. They find humans more amenable. That was a less than perfect interaction. I believe that it could have gone better. I need someone who will really appreciate my active... Hey. Hello. What the hell do you want? You're a hunter, correct? That's none of your business. That is quite true. However, I have... Let me stop you right there. I got shit to do and I can't get on with it if you keep pestering me. So beat it. Stop scaring away all the game, okay? I apologize. I had no intention of disturbing you. I merely wanted to... But you are disturbing me, so get lost. Yes, of course. I merely... Fuck. Off. As you wish. I shall, to use the vernacular, fuck off. That was disappointing. I am struggling to describe my feelings. I didn't know that could happen to a cyborg. As you would say, the less said, the better. Let us move on. We must find a better candidate. There's something I wanted to say. I need someone who will really appreciate my act of generosity. Let us try again. We'll move on to the next candidate. Hello? Oh, hello. You are a hunter, is that right? And you, you're a cleric? Correct. I have a piece of meat for you. Oh, meat, huh? Bring it on. How much you got? Enough. Then what do you want for it? It is a gift. I only want to help you. All right, hand it over then. I can take care of it later. But, uh, wait a minute. You're not gonna show up later wanting some sort of payment, are you? Last thing I need is to be owing favors to higher-ups. Uh, no. No, I, uh... Okay, then. Thanks. Of course. Uh, happy to help. Noted. Have you finished your experiment? Are you feeling more human yet? I believe I have gathered enough data for the time being. I am grateful for your assistance. Thank you. Well, was it a good learning experience for you? 
There were positives and there were negatives. I was unable to observe any pattern that could be used to predict the candidate's reaction to my act of charity. When it comes to understanding human behavior, I still have a great deal to learn and many obstacles to overcome. In that case, I look forward to your next obstacle. Thank you. Until that time, I will continue analyzing the data I have collected so far. We're done. You shit yourself? Why are you walking like that? Not now. I have more than enough problems of my own to deal with.
it would have been much less dangerous to have lived here in the old world. He admitted that he overheard something during your meeting. What exactly, he wouldn't say. He was too afraid that someone might be listening in on our phone call. I'm going to go to his house. If he utters one crucial piece of information, that'll be it for him. He shouldn't go sticking his nose into other people's business. How are things with you, Falk? I am doing well. Excuse me. Yes, you. Haven't seen you around here before. Well, whatever your reasons for coming here, we clerics aren't in the business of turning people away. That said, it's my duty to make sure every traveler who arrives here knows how we run things. No stealing and no fighting. Understood? Don't worry, friend. I plan on sticking to the rules. Well, that's good to hear. So, how about I give you a guided tour? It's quiet right now. I can leave my post for a while. Unless you have any more questions. How are things here? These are troubled times. We've been attacked displaced, scattered. There's a risk that our community, our identity, will be lost forever. People are losing hope. They don't believe this situation will ever change. What situation? What situation? Have you been living in a cave? The Albs drove us out of Ignodon. Then those disgusting creatures rained down from the sky and caused havoc. We've lost nearly everything. Our very existence is under threat. Should I go on? Sorry I asked. Don't get me wrong. We're not all in despair. Some of us still believe we have a future. If we can regroup, focus on things we can achieve, not what we can't, play to our strengths, if we can do that, I'm certain our ranks will start to increase again. If you still want a tour, you know where to find me.
This cleric's camp has its advantages. Short communication paths, small population. The Hort was very different. Oh, hey. What goods have you got? Yeah, sure. Hey there. What goods have What goods have you got? A court. Just can't do that yet. If you want to buy something, go see my merchants. They'll sell you what we can spare. What are you doing here? It's my job to catalog and ration the supplies in the castle, which means I'm busy. So if you don't want anything, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't bother me anymore. You need help with your work? Ah, so that's what you're after. You want a job. Well, if you want to help out, I always need supplies. So, if you have any long-life food you want to get rid of, give it to me. Our trade convoy has gone missing, and there are no supplies coming in, which is a big problem. What happened to your trade convoy? If only I knew. They should have been here long ago. But, if you're looking for work, I'd pay you to find them if you can, and help them if they're still alive. Proper nutrition is extremely important for the maintenance of a society. We should take the time to assist her. Your friend may have a complicated way of expressing himself, but he's not wrong. I could use your help. About... I'll find I'll make it worth your time. If you can help them reestablish their trade... And if they're dead... Well...
You don't have to do that. That turned out all right in the end. Just about. Damn creatures everywhere. You're screwed without a weapon. I'm so glad you found us. You wouldn't happen to be the trade convoy that Vivian wants me to find. Uh, thank Callahan. Vivian sent you. I was afraid we'd be written off as dead already. We could really use your help. First, tell me what happened. Uh, I don't even know where to start. We wanted to try a new, shorter route. We knew it was dangerous, but we tried anyway. We were halfway back from the fort heading towards the castle when we were attacked. We ran away up the hill. Me and one of my guards lost our weapons on the way. Keep talking. We somehow escaped the Reavers and saw a hut. We thought we'd hide out in there for a while. As we slowly worked our way up, these damn Spinehounds came and attacked us. So we ran again. We ran up here. Seems like my other guard lost his weapon on the way. And that's how you found us now, with no guns and those beasts on our tails. As you can see, we could really use your help. You want me to help you look for your weapons? Oh, we would appreciate that, yeah. We can't show our faces in the castle again without them. We might as well throw ourselves to the spine hounds. Where'd you lose them? We lost two weapon packs somewhere on the way up here. Just look along the side of the road. The last weapon pack must be somewhere up here. We just can't seem to find the damn thing. Once you have them, please bring them back here quickly. I don't feel safe at all, walking around unarmed. It is really quite amazing how creative nature can be. These cliffs are clear proof of that.
Hey there. Okay. It'll... It was a pleasure doing business with you. How could this happen? Uh, I'll take better care of my... Found your weapon. Fantastic. 
At last. Now we can hit the road. I'm sorry, I don't... I'm on assignment. Oh yeah, right. You told me that already. In that case, I won't keep you any longer. I'm just glad we can... F Thanks again. I guess we'll see... Forgive us, O Creator. Grant me the... back on the road. So you did it! Ah, <sighs> thank you. Hopefully I'll be getting my regular deliveries again soon. I promised you payment, so here it is. Thanks. Okay then, see you around. And don't forget, if you ever have any supplies, I'll gladly take them off your hands. That was impressive. He's a shit machine. Most of them just talk, but don't actually do anything. I'll be right with you. Give me one sec. Give in now, and you'll lose everything eventually. Let's go through it again. Servo motor, well, check. So. Hydraulics, check. Don't Helix intake, check. Central processing unit. Ugh. How the fuck am I supposed to know? Okay, I have some time now. How can I be of service? Or maybe you can be of service to me. Know anything about combat mechs or drones? I'm struggling with the instruction cycle. They're like normal instructions, only more, uh, technological. Yeah. Oh, that's a no then? I should have guessed. The way you stomp around like that. I'll forget I asked. I'll figure it out. Eventually. So, what do you want again? Do you train t I don't have, uh, time. But I've seen Vivian juggle a wrench. Not that she comes close to my level of skill. Go and ask her. You can find her in the... What do you do here? 
I solve problems. In theory, anyway. These shiny little buddies here, the ones we're endlessly tinkering with, the sooner or later they're supposed to fill the gaps in our ranks of soldiers. Looks like it might be a while. That's not quite true. I already have a prototype. All it needs is a little testing. You try getting results with a roll of wire and a few rubber bands. I'm not the problem here. I was trained by Master Goddard. May the creator bless his soul. Unfortunately, my work here also makes me irreplaceable. I'll test it for you if you like. Oh, well, sure, I mean, why not? I would prefer to test it myself, but I won't turn down the offer. Right, so, I'll set the prototype to run a routine outside the castle. I want you to follow and observe... It's programmed to protect us from enemies, so you should pay attention to how well it identifies and fights threats. Keep a record of how long it takes to deal with the enemies. I need to know if it's running efficiently or not. It should be approximately 37.5% faster at threat recognition compared to previous combat mechs. Got it. Great. Just hold on a second then. I'll send it on its guard routine. Get ready to give chase. Unit ZX-01, initialize new routine. Execute routine Alpha-1 with subroutine B. Huh, these readings are a little odd. What the? Yeah, I heard that rumor too. I have the sinking feeling that I might need to work on the prototype a little bit longer. You don't say. Sorry, I must have made a mistake when calibrating the enemy detection. Good thing we managed to destroy it, huh? <laughs> yeah, kind of a shame, though. Now I have to start from scratch again. Still, thanks for wanting to help out. I appreciate it. I'll let you know when I have a new prototype ready for testing. Provided you still want to help, I mean. Yeah, I'm not so sure of that. Here, take this. We'll call it hazard pay. I'm off, guys. Don't drink too much. We just keep pussyfooting around. Gotta take advantage of this. They can even talk. People forget to just shut up sometimes. Yeah, yeah and I heard they got into a bus stop. First the converters, now these towers. I don't like any of it. Got something interesting to say? what I said. Apparently they can even talk. Now 
Not right now. Huh. You and I have met before. Where have I seen that face? We met in the Hort. Right, in the Hort. I trained a lot of recruits there. You know, back when it was still in one piece. Finding a single half-decent recruit is a near-impossible task. So I'll get to the point. Are you gonna help us out or not? It depends. What do you want from me? To be honest, quite a lot. But I'll take that as a yes. Look, anyone who works for me gets food, shelter, and fair pay for a day's work. Think it over. My door is always open. You'll find me a fair boss, and I always speak my mind, even if I do seem a little blunt at times. Take this. Use it to pick up your rations in the canteen. A personalized rationing system is logical. It would allow the elimination of weak points within the supply chain. Nice speech, but a simple thanks would do. Any other questions? Fire away. Anytime. What can I do to help? Simple. Go where help is needed, then help. As far as I'm concerned, that's all it takes for me to treat you as a cleric. That's it? I'm a soldier. I don't like to overcomplicate things. I can't provide you with a uniform, though. We are all out of those. You're kidding me. No. Our armorer offers the standard protective gear, but no uniforms. The only one left is a Regent's uniform, and I'm not giving that to you. Why not? Well, more accurately, I'm not giving it to you yet. You'll have to earn it, and that won't be easy. If the armor's really what you want, you need to gain access to the Alves. Infiltrate them. Right. I told you it wouldn't be easy. I'll also tell you why this is so important to us. Ever since they began occupying Ignadon, the Alves have left us in peace. Unfortunately, there's no guarantee they'll keep that up. The Alves are a threat we can't ignore, so I'd like to be as informed as possible. It's not enough to be one of their scouts. Gain the rank of trooper, and then we'll talk. Excellent! We will never be defeated. Never! Jax, a most unexpected visitor to our holy halls. Is it fate that in these troubled times you have found your way back to us? Again we meet with dark clouds hanging over us. Little has changed since we took up arms against our common enemy. At that time, you spoke of mankind's impending doom, and of those who would cause it. It shames me to think of how little heed I gave your wise words. Forget it. I've had moments of doubt myself. And out there, the invaders build their towers of destruction. Exactly what you tried to warn us of. Actions are what count. We must think about our future. How to destroy this enemy. That's exactly what we're doing. Now the wounds inflicted upon us have healed. We have rallied ourselves and are planning our resurgence. I was hoping you could help me. I need some better gear. And some good instructors in the art of armed combat. I see. You've lost a great deal of the strength you once had. The war against the Alps took a great deal from all of us. And the situation seems liable to get worse in the future, not better. That war was six years ago. It's not a problem anymore. I was bitten by one of the invader's dark creatures. Infected with their plague. It crippled many of my combat skills. I need to work on them again, from scratch. I wish I could help you. 
But in these dark days, I have to think about my own faction. We have neither the resources nor the time to train you, or to share our weapons. That is... unfortunate. To us, you are an outsider. We must focus on our own survival, and that means holding on to every last scrap we have. I believe you're trying to talk me into joining the clerics. That would be one way to solve this dilemma. Though, from the look of you, you'd have to start your training with the basics. And that isn't something the clerics can afford to offer you. We simply can't spare the manpower or the relevant supplies. That's my final word, I'm afraid. We won't be able to give you basic training in our weapons technology. Could you suggest an alternative? Our approach to combat closely resembles that of the Alves to the north. If you want to join us, I suggest you go to them first. They can teach you the basics. You want me to train with your enemies? They're not the only ones who would rather see us dead. These last few months, many evils have come to torment us. The Alves are the least of our worries. When you've completed your basic training, we can talk again about your initiation into the cleric community. As an Alp commander, my specialty was Elix abilities. My repertoire didn't include other weapons until much later. Then it's those abilities you should start improving. They will make you a valuable asset to the clerics. I'll be returning to you as an Alb. You're okay with that? That is what you were in the first place. Once you've learned the fundamentals of high-tech weaponry, speak to Judicator Hagen. He'll be able to answer your questions. We all have burdens to bear. I wish you every success on the rest of your journey. Jax, is that you? <laughs> what a wonderful surprise. It's been, what, six, seven years? You look well. How are things? Need help with anything? Glad to see you again too, Ava. I have so much to tell you. I'm guessing Alex showed you where you can bunk down for the night. I expect you've got a lot on your mind right now. If you need a little time to yourself, I completely understand. We can catch up later. Maybe you share a bottle of wine, if that's your thing. What exactly do you do here? I'm in charge of the Archives of Knowledge. I don't know if you remember, but once upon a time, I wasn't even allowed to step foot inside the Archives. And now look at me. I'm responsible for preserving all the knowledge we have. How times change. It was so long ago, it feels like a different world. Remember our old home? 
All that was left was a smoldering ruin. If you're interested, I can also share some of my newfound knowledge with you. What do you say? Mainly things and look.